This time on a moment of science, exploding water. A moment of science. You're not gonna make coffee with that, are you? There are stories of people who have put a cup of water into the microwave to bring it to a boil before adding tea or coffee, only to take it out of the oven and have the water erupt in their faces, causing serious injury. Fact or fiction? That is malarkey. I needed extra boiling for my aged Sentinelese triple milled blend. No, it's true. It can blow up and burn you. And I don't trust that coffee either. You got it from Craigslist. Well, actually, it's totally possible. To understand how this happens, we need to quickly review what boiling is. When water is heated to the boiling point, the liquid water changes to gas, thereby expanding its volume greatly. Boiling is the expanding of the water molecules into the gas bubbles. However, for these bubbles to form, there must be something like bits of dust in your kitchen, a tea bag, or, or rough sides on the container for them to form on. I'll have you know, that mug is a third Nubian Empire replica, specifically manufactured for coffee you can't appreciate. I got you that mug at a yard sale. If the container you use to heat the water is new or highly glazed, it might have very smooth sides and no rough places on which bubbles can form. If it's very clean, there might not even be bits of dust for the bubble to form on. Without these, there will be no bubbles forming and rising to the top to break the surface and allow steam to escape. And the water can continue to heat up past its boiling point to what's called a superheated state. The surface of the water literally holds the heat in like a lid. So when the water surface is finally disturbed by moving the cup or putting a tea bag in, the superheated water instantly and explosively comes to a boil, throwing steam and very hot water all over. Yikes. So just to be safe, if you plan to heat water in a microwave, put something non-metallic in the cup, like a wooden stirring stick or a tea bag. Or, be even safer, skip the microwave and heat the water on a stove in a tea kettle. I'm Mandy Streif, and this has been A Moment of Science. Ooh, science. For more interesting science facts, visit our website at amomentofscience.org.